Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you'll think about hitting that subscribe button. I post weekly plan with me videos in my Aura Estelle A5 wide planner. This week I am planning out the week of January 25th through the 31st and I am using this kit by Sticky Essentials along with hollow foil. Um, I pulled in a lot of Sticky Essentials underlays for this and then a lot of the foil is just from a wiggle I had left over or freebies that I've gotten in orders. So yeah, I don't know what else to say about the base at this point, um, but this year I'm trying to use a lot of Lane from Coffee Doodles, like Disney art that she came out with last year. I'm planning on using pretty much all of it, I think, except the Haunted Mansion collection, because I don't want to use two Haunted Mansion kits this year. And I'm referring to the ones that she did that relate to or correspond with the Minnie Mouse park collection releases. I don't know. I just think they're fun. And I was going to save these kits for my trips to the parks, but with Disneyland remaining closed because of the pandemic, I'm not really going to the parks and I'm just missing some magic in my life. I know a lot of people are really sick of Disney kits and Disney themed kits and wish shops would just release something else. I am not one of those people, so I'm sorry for the amount of Disney that is going to be on my channel coming up. Um, it's just, I guess, the theme of this year is what it's kind of turned into. Not on purpose, but it's just kind of worked out that way. I just realized, like, the whole first month of my planner, everything ended up being Disney on accident. It was not intentional, but... You know, here we are. I guess that just shows you that I am missing the parks. So I debated if I wanted to pair hollow, sparkly hollow, or some kind of combination of the two with this kit. I ended up keeping it all sparkly hollow with the exception of the rose color days January script. I don't have those like monthly scripts in sparkly hollow. So I figured just one little script in normal hollow wouldn't be too offensive, but it was really hard. I realized I don't really have that much sparkly hollow or as much as I thought I did. I definitely have a lot more of just like the normal regular hollow, which is great. It's gorgeous, but this kind of made me really fall in love with sparkly hollow and want to do everything in sparkly hollow because it's so pretty. Also, this week is one of the weeks that I pretty much, for me, didn't do anything fancy or special in this spread, meaning I don't have a ton of like foldables, day extenders, doors, whatever you want to call them. I only have one in the sidebar and if you've watched any of my previous spreads, you know that I have been going ham with experimenting with those and just adding them in like crazy to include all the full boxes of the art. This week I managed to include them all without needing to go crazy, which is kind of nice. Um, cause day extenders do really bulk up your planner like a lot. And so it's just nice to have a spread where it's pretty simple. There's not a lot of stuff to flip up something about it it just it reminds me of like the older days of planning before everything got or before I should say I made it overly complicated for myself with how I plan and being obsessive with wanting all the boxes I don't know I just really like the simple like not having a ton of day extenders that was a tangent that nobody asked for also Again, thanks to my undo fairy for sending me some undo because, you know, you're not supposed to have it in California. But shh. Um, it has been a lightsa lightsaber. Wow. I don't even know what to say about that one. It has been a lifesaver. It just especially when you see the base for next week that I lay down, spoiler alert, I will show you a sneak peek of it at the end of this video because 
I didn't know how I liked it last night when I laid it down, which by the way, last night was January 31st, today's February 1st, and I laid down the base of that spread last night. I didn't know how I liked it, but when I saw it in like the light this morning, it might be one of my favorite spreads of all time, just based upon the base alone. So really excited about next week. Not to say that this week isn't gorgeous, because I do love this week too. The sparkly hollow is just so pretty. But you know how like you have spreads that you like, and then there's just something magical that happens with a spread? That is next week. And yes, it is Disney themed. I'm sorry. Only I'm not really sorry because it's my planner and I love it. <laughs> um, also, I cannot believe I'm going to say this. I've been converted and I like wax melts. I was not on board that train for a long time, but I'm going to blame Brittany. Um, because, well, her and my mom. I bought my mom a wax melter for Brittany over, like, for Christmas. Because um, Brittany's a Scentsy consultant. So I bought some for my mom for Christmas just because with her dog, she can't. Because of his tail, he likes to, like, whack things off of counters and stuff. She doesn't want to have, like, open flames. So I got one for my mom for Christmas, and she loved it. So then she got me one, and now I love it. So today... All the new summer Scentsy scents came out and um, some damage was done. So, yeah. I'm a convert and I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm staring at my wax warmer right now, which is a pink Himalayan sea salt wax warmer. And honestly, I was getting, I was so skeptical of it when I ordered it from, or well, mom let me pick it out. I mean, she technically paid for it as a gift, but I got to like pick it out. And I was so skeptical about it when I ordered it. And it is actual salt. If you are curious, I did definitely lick it. So it's very salty. Uh, just curiosity, I just had to. Um, so you can see the one little foldable I put on the sidebar right there just to include that tall box i usually always fit tall boxes under some sort of extender because i don't know to me them being extra tall throws out off the symmetry of the kit but yet i use like the double wide boxes that come in glenn planner kits sometimes so i don't know maybe i'm just crazy but i always tend to hide them here i'm just using these um, I don't know what words are, bow headers that came on a freebie that are, um, shattered holographic, sparkly hollow. I couldn't think of the word sparkly hollow. Um, total brain fart moment, but those came on a freebie and I never have headers that match to pull in like that. So I decided to go for it. And here I realized I didn't have enough space and I had to move everything up. Um, yeah, me and that undo are just becoming real good friends here. And it's going to be a problem if I ever run out. But that's why I now have an undo fairy. Um, I wish I would have bought a lot of the 15 millimeter strips for a lot of the kits this year. Um, I hadn't because back then I didn't... Well, care for the split look or anything and now I really like that look so it's this bottom washi just it's pretty but it's not my favorite just based upon the fact that it's not split and it's just one solid block of color I almost wish there was more of a pattern in it but then again I don't there's not a lot of patterns in this kit so I don't know exactly what you would put down there either so, I don't know. I'm just being picky at this point. I do think it's pretty, though. And then I was debating if I wanted to put the other foiled confetti part from the wiggle on the bottom washi or if I wanted to put it at the top. I ended up 
putting the rose color, no, Caress Press um, Sparkly Hollow overlay tape at the top um, to kind of balance it out and give it some more foily action up there. And then I ended up just using the other one from the wiggle at the bottom. I just felt like that way they looked exactly the same, whereas the one at the top is kind of spread out from some of the other foil. Um, Cause they, you know, different types of hollow shine just a little bit differently. And I figured it would just match better that way. So I think next I'm gonna move into full box overlays, I think. No, am I not? <laughs> Um, which I did end up cutting some in half and using some of that, like some of the foil that was on the bottom extra bit from the bottom washi overlays. And that was fun. I wish I would have shown this on camera. I don't even know what I am doing, so I can't even tell you. Oh, I think, I, oh, I was cutting a washi strip to go across the top there to match. Um, because I have been liking that little bit of foil on that side now as well. I'm just getting more extra every, 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 every week. I meant to say each and every week. And I think each and every week, my ability to speak proper English gets worse. And I apologize. I think school is slowly driving me insane. I had a two unit class assign two papers on scholarly journal articles that were due in a week along with five chapters of textbook reading, which if you know anything about college, college units, that's way more than a work than a two unit class should require in a week. So that's frustrating. And I just think that the little incompetencies of my school are just really driving me more insane in the membrane than ever. Who remembers that song? It was in one of the Tony Hawk video games. Throwback, which they did re-release those and I kind of want to buy them just to like bring back the nostalgia factor. Did you play the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games as a kid? Let me know in the comments down below if you did. I want to know if I'm like the only planner girl who um, played those games. I specifically remember having Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 for the Xbox, like the original Xbox. Like the Xbox, the really fat, massive controller Xbox. And I remember that one being my favorite out of all of them. I don't know why. Also, if you don't care about Tony Hawk or video games, I'm sorry. That was just a random tangent. Here we are with the uh, glitter header overlays that you all know I lovingly despise because I hate putting them down. I hate talking over putting them down. I hate watching people put them down, including myself, but I love the way they look. So I got, you know, you got to do it then. Like if you love the look, you got to suffer through the process <laughs> of putting them down. Um, yeah, I this base, honestly, for not having extenders or all the crazy stuff that I usually do, took a long time. I don't know what my issue was. Maybe it was all my excessive use of the undo. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I wasn't prepared for the base to take this long because usually my bases don't take this long. And also... I'm going to apologize now because I put some of the deco at the top and when I start doing it, it's kind of cut off the camera. It does get better. You know, I don't have a screen or anything. I can't see myself when I'm filming. I film on my iPhone and it points straight down at my hands and I can't see the screen. So I can't tell if I'm in frame or not. So I just kind of have a general idea of where the frame is and guess when I'm filming. And um, sometimes it doesn't always work out. <laughs> but 
but I'm just sprinkling the deco across the top trying to spread out the colors evenly and put um, little pieces of deco if they're in a full box like on the opposite side of the page from where their full box is I just like to do that it's kind of like an OCD thing but I think the deco turned out amazing this week it's some of my favorite deco that I've done so far this year which I struggle with deco or at least I think I struggle with deco so um, yeah, I'm just cutting off. Oh, you could see it got stuck to my board there. The deco at the top. And then I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for the base. I don't think there's anything else. I could be lying. Um, I apologize for my, like, rambling during the base today. I should have prepared more to talk about. But I'm kind of trying to get this done because I have class today from 3 to 9 30 and I have to work out and do a homework assignment still and I realize I could be doing those things instead of doing this but here we are so if you fast forwarded um to this point we are going to go into the day by day um also I am doing what I've been doing where I am just going to put down all of the scripts that I have from shops in the day by day and then I'm going to zoom out and put in all of the scripts that I made myself so that you guys can see what's what's from shops and how many I make myself and that way it's less confusing in the day by day so starting off with Monday this was a pretty uneventful day to be honest so the first thing I marked using a squared off box was that it was Coffee Monday, and I used a Fox and Pip Girl and a Coffee Monday script that is from Letters to Apollo to mark that. I very rarely mark Coffee Mondays, so I figured since it was such a like uneventful day, it was the perfect excuse to mark it. And then below that, using a Miss Just Plans TV, a Hulu TV, I marked watching Hell's Kitchen, which I do have a discount code for Miss Jess Plans. It is Rosie20 for 20% off of her shop. It'll, of course, be linked down in the description box for you. I just love those TVs. I have a whole order of TVs coming in from her because I'm almost out of some of them and, like, dire need. Then I marked doing homework using a whimsical cat studio girl, which this is going to be the same every day this week, and a homework script from Sticky Essentials, and then an arrow from Planner Pixie Co. In the bottom half of Monday, I marked uploading using a Kinsey's Creation script and a Paper and Milk Maru. Below that, I marked having class same classes I have tonight and I use a flag I marked this the same way every day this week too that I have class so I use a flag from the kit then I use a fox and pip zoom laptop sticker and an online class script that I cut from sticky essentials and then I put a little foiled frame on the flag just to add a little bit of sparkly goodness to the spread and then below that, I used a Miss Jess Plans popcorn bowl sticker to mark that I had popcorn for dinner, which will probably be what I have tonight, too. The moving into Tuesday, the first thing I marked was homework. I did homework pretty much all day this day, so it's another pretty eventful day. I, below that, using a pa I can't, paper bow prints. She's no longer open, but I used a Kindle from her to mark that I started reading the Book of Boy. This is a book that I have to read for class, but again, this is another uneventful day, so I figured I'd start marking the actual books I'm reading. Below that, using a Once More with Love Munchkin that I cut off the script at the bottom for, and a Sticky Essentials Plan script I marked that I planned. I'm pretty sure this was the either the base for this week or 
yeah, I already got the Anastasia video up at this point, so it had to be something for this current spread, which if you haven't seen the Anastasia playing with me, I came up with a new double box hack for Glam Planner. That is like my new favorite thing. Below that, I marked watching More's Hell's, More Hell's Kitchen with another Miss Just Plans TV. You will see those a lot this week. Then using a Sugar Box Stickers Baja Blast sticker and a Jody Doodles script, I marked having Taco Bell. Jody Doodles is a shop that was owned and operated by my friend Ilza. She is no longer open, but you can message Ilza on Instagram at Ilza Planned It. And if you want some of her stickers, she is willing to work stuff out for people. Then I just marked having class because it rules my life. Then moving into Wednesday, the first thing I marked using these once more with love munchkins is that I had therapy and I ended up using a sparkly hollow appointment label that was from appointment script, excuse me, that was from the wiggle to mark that. And this, I didn't, usually I leave therapy and I'm kind of a complete and utter mess. I actually felt kind of good this time, so I left therapy and using a icon from the sparkly hollow wiggle of a box, because I didn't know what else to use, I marked that I reorganized my DVD cabinet, my OCD, it had been driving me crazy for a while, and was something that I had really wanted to do, and oh my gosh, it makes me so happy, and I'm just... I've really taken time to start to reorganize the spaces that I spend most of the time in and it's starting to pay off and help with my mental health. And then I did more homework because I am a slave to my school. Then I marked using a Once More With Love munchkin that Tito started his puppy lessons. Tito is my parents' puppy and while I wasn't there for them, I like to mark Tito's life events. <laughs> because I just love my little Tito Bandito. Then below that I marked having online class again because four days a week. Then I marked using a cutout circle icon from the Wiggle. I marked that I made HelloFresh. I made it was a type of like flatbread pizza this day with roasted garlic and zucchini. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Also, I made it a couple times this week. I just love HelloFresh. It's been like such a lifesaver. I, yeah, can't say enough good things. Then I marked Moore's Hell's Kitchen because I was on a tangent. Then using this sweet T plans Disney Plus TV, I believe that's the shop. I could be wrong. Um, if you really want to know, comment down below and I will let you know. Also, I do apologize for the lighting. It will get better, I promise. Just give it a couple minutes or fast forward to the time I put on the screen. But using that Disney Plus TV, I marked that I watched The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Um, I've decided to skip I hit a huge roadblock in my Disney, wanting to watch all the Disney animated movies in chronological order because I really don't care to watch the war propaganda type ones. So I just decided to skip all the ones that I couldn't find or all the weird ones like that. So then the next one on the list was The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Moving in to Thursday, the first thing I marked using this Fox and Cactus laundry line doodle is that I did laundry and that script is from Sticky Essentials. Below that using a Paper and Milk Maru and a Piper Paper Company script I marked that I cleaned the house. I was really into cleaning and organizing this week. Below that using a circle icon from the Wiggle that has a box I marked organizing because I just couldn't stop. And then I did homework, such a productive day. Then I used a cutout fork and knife icon from the Wiggle to mark making HelloFresh because I'm an addict. Below that, I marked Hell's Kitchen with another Miss Just Plans TV script. 
And then last but not least for Thursday, using a teeny and bop glam planner girl reading, I marked that I started to read A Court of Frost and Starlight, which is the fourth book in a Court of Thorns and Roses series. I read the first three and then got together with my ex and started reading with him and never finished it. But I want to because the fifth book comes out in, I think on February 16th. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked was homework. I was working on this project for like five and a half hours. I started on it super early because I woke up at like 6 a.m. super energized and everything ended up coming crashing down when I realized I spent the entire time doing this project entirely wrong and would have to start over from square one. And I just lost it and was in my feelings and had a panic attack because I was now behind the schedule I wanted to be on and I marked being in my feelings with a script from The Wiggle and that little girl laying down is from Pumpkin Paper Co. It was just not a good time and it was just super frustrating and it wasn't my fault for doing the assignment wrong. I mean, I guess you could say it was my fault. It's partially their fault for having directions in four different places for one assignment. So then I marked having class because it was my last class of the week. Hallelujah. Below that, I marked having, I ordered a burrito um, for one of my favorite places. And that is a fox and cactus doodle. And the script is from Kinsey's Creations. Then below that, I used a Glam Planner Bippity Fairy. I believe these were from a Glam Planner subscription kit like a long time ago. I don't believe the fairies are in her shop. Um, but I marked that I started to watch Fate, the Winx Saga on Netflix. I thought about using Netflix TVs, but I never get to use these fairy stickers and they just match the spread so well. Um, really liked fate fate the wink saga don't know about the name of it is it a book series is it based upon something like that i don't know but regardless it was six episodes of pure magic then below that using this glam planner teeny and bop in front of the fire i marked that i busted out my space heater this day it was finally cold enough to need it for the first time this like winter season and those i know came in a subscription kit they came in a recent one i like just put them away then below that, using a Pumpkin Paper Co. girl on FaceTime, I marked that I had a girls' night with my girl Ansley. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. Like, talk about the highlight of my week, and it was just the best way to end a day that, like, started off on such a high and then came crashing down. Like, it was just such a good way to end the day, and I just love that girl. So then on Saturday, the first thing I marked is that I read more of A Court of, of Frost and Starlight. That's kind of how I just started my morning. And I honestly was a little hungover, so I ordered some McDonald's. And that McDonald's box is Happy Meal box is from Sugarbox Stickers. And the McDonald's script is from Jody Doodles. Then below that, using a lolly and pop from that same glam planner sheet, I marked watching more of Fate the Wink series. Then below that, using a glam planner teeny and bop sticker, I marked having a hair appointment um, where hair salons are finally open again, so I got to get my hair done. Then I marked picking up my medication using a sticky essential script and a once more with love munchkin. Below that, I marked doing homework. One of my friend's moms came over and was helping me with an assignment that I didn't understand. And also, shout out to Liz from List Plans. She um, also helped me out with that assignment because my school isn't teaching us anything that they're supposed to. Also realized my computer's about to die, so yay me. Oh, good. The charger's in reaching distance, so I do not have to stop this voiceover. That is a win for me. 
So then after doing homework, using this once more with love, like food baby munchkin, I marked that I ate ranch salad and garlic bread, which is like some of my favorite things that my mom makes since I was at my parents' house that night for dinner. Oh my God, it was so good. What I wouldn't do for some of that right now. Um, moving into Sunday, the first thing I marked was, you guessed it, more homework. Um, I ended up finishing or redoing that assignment that I had the, that I did wrong on Friday that day. Then I did some laundry, which I marked using this once more with Love Munchkin, changing the sheets and a script from the wiggle on Sundays. I always wash my towels and my sheets every week. And this week I also did like all my normal laundry. So like normal clothes and workout clothes. So it was just like all the laundry. Then I marked that I planned, so I was laying down more of the base for this week and pretty much everything but Sunday. I filmed Sunday right before doing this voiceover and I just used a script from the kit and a Once More With Love munchkin. Then below that using a teeny and bop fairy from Glam Planner, I marked that I finished Winx the Lux, or er, whoa, that's not right, Fate. The Winx Saga. I don't even know where Lux came from. Um, and I was happy that I didn't have to cut this girl because I was cutting off the purple at the bottom of their dresses and I think it's really pretty. Then I used a Fox and Cactus Donut and a Jody Doodles script to mark getting Krispy Kreme. Below that, I used another Hulu TV to mark Hell's Kitchen. Then I used a Beneva Creations girl on FaceTime to mark that I had a FaceTime date with Ryan. And for this date, we ended up ordering Taco Bell. So I marked it the same way that I did Tuesday with a Sugar Box stickers, Baja Blast Doodle, and a Jody Doodles Taco Bell script. So here we have zoomed out and I'm going to go through and put in the scripts that I made myself for the day by day. Um, so you guys can kind of see me filling it in and how many I actually did end up making myself this week. And again, as I start to run out of more and more scripts that I have purchased, I will just start making them myself. It ends up saving a lot of money, even if my own scripts are not perfect and don't come off of the sheet all nice and pretty like ones from shops do. I will eventually, hopefully, pr prof perfect. Why am I struggling with that word? Um, the art of making scripts, these were a little bit off cut for the first time, but they still work, so I use them because I'm not gonna waste them and sticker paper is expensive. I believe I have which sticker paper I use linked down below. If not, you guys can message me on Instagram. It is Rosie Plans and I can link you straight to it on Amazon. I don't know what paper it is. I don't remember off the top of my head. Brittany educated me on it once, but I apparently failed as a student and didn't listen. So Brittany, if you're watching this video, what kind of paper do I, do I uh, use for my scripts and can you comment it down below? It was like online labels speckled something. I don't know. I am not a professional at this, clearly. But I realized I forgot to make the Hell's Kitchen script for there. And then on the weekend, or weekend on the sidebar rather I didn't make my last step goal sticker for the bottom weekly box because I printed and cut these before the day was over so that number was going to change and I think that's how I'm going to start doing these to save me time um because it's hard to do that and this way I can get videos up more efficiently and faster and it just works better with my schedule Plus, I don't think you guys necessarily really care how many steps I walk on a Sunday. And if you do, then you can check out my Instagram for the finished product when I post the photos with that sticker in it. But here we are just giving you a wiggle, showing you what it looks like zoomed out. Uh, these colors, I really like the pop of pink in this kit. I thought this kit was going to be way 
to blue, but that pop of pink is just really giving me life. And here is the close-up for you guys. I'm trying to get a good wiggle on this. It's really hard with the lighting how it is. It's so overcast and gloom and doom here right now as far as like Southern California weather is concerned. But anyways, I enjoyed filming this video for you this week. If you guys enjoyed watching it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and help me reach my YouTube goals in 2021. I would seriously appreciate it. This has been such a great pastime for me and helping so much with my anxiety and depression. And I'm about to show you guys a sneak peek for next week it is so great and um make sure you subscribe because i promise you don't want to miss it you, you don't you don't <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one bye friends